In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an infinite loop for your TikToks, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts, all in Premiere Pro. Since these vertical forms of content automatically replay on their own, implementing a loop to them is the perfect retention hack. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an infinite loop for your TikToks, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts, all in Premiere Pro. See what I did there? Now, before getting into the editing portion itself, you wanna make sure your script is optimized for the loop. The hook or the start of the video needs to be in the second half of the starting sentence, with the first half of the sentence being used to end the video, creating the loop. Here are a couple quick examples. But the point of this short video is, Closed mouths don't get fed. There's a concept known as the Red Queen's race. All right, jumping into Premiere Pro, I have a vertical video already on the timeline. Footage, text, music, overlays, it's all there. But to keep things simple, the most important parts of the loop are at the beginning and ending. Jumping into the example sequence I have set up, I'll first start off with the hook of the video by trimming right when it starts. I figured out that it's at this timestamp before recording this video. You can use the razor tool to do this, or you can highlight both the footage and audio and click Command plus K to make a cut. Like I mentioned earlier, the first section is used to end the video, and the second half is the start of the video. Next, if you're using background music, the same rules apply to create that seamless flow. Here's what I do. I'll grab the music track and drag it over so that it aligns with the start of the ending clip, maybe a little before if the clip is too short. Make sure the Snap and Timeline tool is selected so that the guidelines appear, or you can just click the S key. I will then create a cut in the music clip right where the video clip ends. Now drag the remaining music back to the starting point and then shorten or extend it to end with the rest of the clips. Continue adding to the length of the song as you build out your timeline, as long as the ending looks like this. What we've just created is the foundation of the loop, but we still need to adjust the volume for the least amount of disruption possible. You may have noticed this buffer when the loop restarts, but the point of this short video is, closed mouths don't get fed. This is unavoidable, but can be mitigated by crossfading your audio. Here's exactly what I do. Go into your effects panel, audio transitions, crossfade, then start with the constant gain effect. You're gonna drag this effect into three places, the start of the audio clip for your hook, the start of the music, and the start of the trimmed music that we created earlier. You can also shorten or extend the length of the constant gain effect if you'd like for the volume to ease in for shorter or longer for any given audio clip. Personally, I usually go shorter for constant gain. Next, we'll add the exponential fade effect to the ending of the final three audio clips the ending of both music tracks, and the ending of your last audio clip as well. I shortened the exponential fade as well, except for the longer music track. I want the song to fade out to make room for the loop to begin again. To recap, first optimize your script for the loop. Second, cut and arrange your video and audio clips accordingly on the timeline. And lastly, crossfade the volume to mitigate the unavoidable buffer that occurs. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing, guys. If you're filming your vertical videos with a camera, then it's important that you're exporting them with high-quality settings. To learn how to do that in Premiere Pro, I suggest continuing on to this video on the screen now.